Hi. Let's have a look at this Power Automate community thread. Uh, this one I answered a while ago regarding uh, expressions. So for the solution, I have used uh, first, last and the split expressions. So recently another community member comes around and asks how this is done and could you, could you please explain it. So I'll try my best to explain the expressions here. So let's have a look at this flow. So this is a manual trigger I'm using and the my text is uh, my favorite sports are football, badminton and tennis. Suppose I want to get only the sports names. How can we extract that? So for this, we need to use the expressions in Power Automate. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to uh, my text. I just say sports. Okay, so that's my text. And the next step is the compose. Here I'm going to use the expression called split. So to get the football, badminton, and tennis, I need to use a delimiter. The delimit the delimiter here is the colon. So what is the delimiter? So we need to use the delimiter to uh, use the split expressions to extract the values. So after colon, whatever it is, that's the rest of the uh, values are my sports. So here I can use colon as my delimiter. Okay, so let's use split. And then the dynamic content, click on the dynamic content. Oops, that's not right. Yeah. And then sports, that's my text there. Comma, then use that separator, which is a delimiter, is a colon. Okay. I'm going to rename this to sports text. Okay, save this. Ah, okay, because I renamed the renamed the combos, uh, it expects the uh, expects the right reference. So I need to use sports underscore text because there is a space there, and also um, for the spaces I need to use the underscore. Right, okay, so it should save now. Right, let's run the flow now. Right. So here it is. So I use the, uh, the separator as the colon. So it split that sentence into two uh, different um, values. And that's essentially is an array. You can see this is an array now with the square brackets. So using this, now we can easily, easily get the first and the last uh, values. So let's go to the compose and get the favorite uh, sports names only. So I'm going to rename this to uh, sports. Then under the expression, I'm going to use last dynamic content output of my the split expression, which is this. OK, let's run this and see what we are going to get. So that was my sentence. This is the, my separator I use for colon so that my statement is split into two. Next expression, I use the last. So here it is. I got football, badminton, and tennis. What happens if I use the first? I, I should get my favorite sports are. That's, that's what I should get from the first. So let's see that then. So, uh, again, I'm going to add another compose. And uh, just rename this to first text. And go to the expression and uh, use again the uh, the first first of my uh, the second compose. 
go click on the dynamic content look for the compost that's the output i want click okay that okay just run this here it is see so i use the first expression to get the first the last expression to get the last anything between you, you won't get it you need to specify the index i will try to explain that in another video that so um, let's have a look at again the the sports we we extracted the sports to football badminton and tennis suppose i am only interest, inter, interested only in the last sport how can we do that then so what we could do here is i could add another compose and i got the sports text remember so i'm going to use the split again and i can get the sports now from this compost text so click on the dynamic and look for that sports comma and i can see there is a comma separator there so i'm going to use the comma there click ok that and add the next compost and here i can i can use again the next expression called first of my compost to which is my previous output click ok that add another compose lots of compose here and uh, here i'm going to use another expression expression so here we use the first so i'm going to use the last so that that should give me the last spot in that list and last of my compost two again compost to which contains my sport uh, sports a compost to which contains the sport uh, uh, individual sport values yeah so let's go back here and say last of compost to here it is let's try to run this and see what happens okay so let's see now okay so that was my text and you can see see here i split that sports now with the comma separated and here i use the first again so i, I can get the first sport value from that list and again that's the last expression i used that's coming from that same array of collection so let's go back and inspect again so if you want to split a piece of uh, text what you need is you, you need a delimiter the delimit the delimiter can be a space also so you can put single quotations uh, space as well so you can use here here i used my delimiter is my uh, separator is the colon so if i use space what will happen is it will it will uh, you know split that sentence into uh, different arrays like my favorite sports are etc all that into different 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 arrays but for uh, this demo i used the colon so colon means it will split this part into one and another this part into uh, another so that's what happened there and then uh, we use the last and the first uh, expression to get the first value from that array collection and also uh, the last expression to get the last value from the array collection hope it is useful thank you for watching